And we're back, peeps, to Let's Play Dino Crisis. Now, where we left it last time, Rick said he saw something on the monitor that looked human. There was someone in the training room. And we're about to make our way there, but first, what we want to do is push this box. Any box that looks like it shouldn't be there, give it a push. Because there's going to be an item behind it. Oh, recovery aid. Oh, that could be useful right about now. Never mind. Never mind. We'll come back for it, because we're coming back here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, we want to turn off this barrier, but you will need to turn. Oh, wrong button. You will need to turn it on again. Pretty sharpish. What we're going to do, we're actually going to use some bullets this time. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Damn it. Right. Ammo. We're actually going to use some SG bullets. Okay, we're going to dispatch a couple of dinos. What we want to do is we want to come this way. And this will happen. Whoop. Hello. Oh, another one's gotten wind of me. Now what you want to do is you want to push Oh, dear. Get past him. Push that button. And then get quickly behind the barrier. Right, so now I have an excuse to use a med pack now. Right. Let's get rid of some dinos. Reload. Down with you! Come out, use my handgun to finish him off, I think. Because I've got plenty of handgun bullets. There we go. Looks like I only needed one. Right. Now they won't be a problem anymore. Right. Let's have a look in here. Ah, the office. Now this is the double doors leading onto the very quiet and eerie hallway. Spin this up. Is it enough space to hold the med pack M? Well there will be in a second, because I'm gonna use one. I am going to use one. There we are. That'll be enough room. There we are. Excellent. Right. Now then what we'll do first is we'll unlock these double doors. Here we are. So that we can get back here from the outside. Which would be useful. Now what's this here? A file containing notices written to the staff. Yeah, let's give it a read. Three years have passed since the tragic disaster. Ooh. The performance of the newest stabilizer will be tested in tonight's experiment. Three years ago the third energy dis destroyed the facility and killed as many as 150 personnel just from a single overflowing accident. Oh dear! So it seems this kind of crap has happened before. So to prevent a similar disaster from happening, we will take every possible precaution to reinforce our security. <laughs> Don't think security is your issue. Really. One more thing, we recently had a case in which someone used the terminal in this room to forge a fake ID to gain unauthorized access. Ooh. Hintity hint hint. Peeps. Today we are going to have a meeting in the strategy room on how to cope with the problem. In any case, all personnel should protect the security of the terminal. Anyone leaving this room unattended should lock the door without fail. Well, you didn't do a great job of that, because I've got him. Right. Oops. Got stuck behind the table. Right. Now, this is the computer where you can forge an ID card. Yes, that can be read data on an ID card. Staff assigned to the first floor, second floor, and B1 floor that will have their ID data registered in this terminal. So basically, we'll need an ID card, and we'll find one of those later on. Now, what we need to do, if we have a look at this memo here, change that the personnel for this individual have not been turned in yet. Oh, uh, yes? Let's see, Paul Baker, page number 
Okay, and there's his credentials. Now they're always up there, so when we come back here, they'll be up there for us to have a look at in case we forget. Right. Let's go and see what Rick was so, you know, was so excited about. There's another vent there we can go through. Ah, and there's what the other guy was chewing on. Ooh, a plug. Lovely. Right. Here we are, lecture room. Or training room. Whatever. Same shit, different shovel. Right. There's nothing in here. Anything on the desk that we can have a look at? Nope. Oh well. Aha! What have we here? The B room, B one key, backup generator room. Now that's for the door outside. We couldn't get in. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Now this is your first action event, peeps. Wiggle the directions as hard as you bloody can. Oh! Then I did wiggle it hard enough. Get off! He's alive! Gail, you're still alive. Good timing. That was good timing. What is it? Another lizard? That's no lizard. It's a dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur. Look, something's really wrong with this place. This whole mission has gone sour. Hey, it's always either be eaten out in the battlefield, no matter who or what you're up against. Any word on the dock yet? Uh-uh. Afraid not. I've got to hook up with Rick again. My radio's dead and he's the only one who can fix it. Okay. Right. Well, now that we know that Gail's still alive, he didn't get eaten, we can go and open that door outside. My health seems okay. Go up through this vent here. I'm not bleeding or anything, and she's walking fine. So, I think we've just had a little knock. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, these vents are safe, and no dino can get us in here. Yes, we shall. Oh, and now we're in the toilet. <laughs> now remember, there is a dino in here. So, look out. Luckily we have a barrier here. Now this door can't be opened without an ID card. So that's something we're going to need later. Get round very quickly. Get out of my way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, no you don't. Okay, we'll go this way. We won't bother with the vent. We'll go straight through. Because now, the laser barrier behind this door should be active. What am I talking about? We... I don't know why I said that, Peter. Because I clearly forgot that we unblocked it in the last video, that's why. Oh dear. Okay. Right. Let's go and get that generator up and running. This way. Yeah, use the key. Okay, what's that? It's an anaid. Hmm. I suppose I can use the med pack M and put my health back. And then I've got the anaid. Yes, please. Right. 
Now I can use that. I could use that on those actually. We'll do that to make them all med pack L pluses. Which would be useful. Yes, please. There we are. Fabulous. Okay. Right, down we go. Okay, now that door leads to the underground, but it is locked here. It's locked from the other side, so we can't open it from here. Ooh, what have we here? Aha! A battery is set in the battery charger. Move it. Well, yeah, why not if it's there and charged? Sweet! Okay. Oh, a conspicuous shelf. Let's get it moved. Well, if you can stay behind it. Come on, woman. Push it. There we go. What is it? It's a plug. Lovely. Right. And it looks like there's a battery missing here. Please set a battery. With pleasure. You can put the one that's charged right here. Inside. Excellent. Alrighty. We know this rigmarole, peeps. Let's do it. Let's get these in order. Here we go. Center. And right. There we are. There's a switch. Will you press it? Mm, no. Only joking. Yes, we will. Landed. Oh, hello. Is that you, Regina? <laughs> yeah. You Rongo, so, who do you think it is? Yet? Ooh, steady on, right? <laughs> There's something I have to talk to you about. Ooh. Got a confession to make, have you, Rick? It's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the young recruits feel this way about Regina. <laughs> right, we'll head on back. Right, now what I'll do... Get my shotgun. And this time I'm gonna equip my poison dart. Because this This is something I will not want a repeat of. Cause At some point when you walk down this hallway, peeps something will happen. It should be any minute now. There we go. I was right. Get off, mate. Get off. Down, boy. Down with you. <sighs> you. Right. right we'll equip some. Equip some dots, actually. Cause like I said, if we don't need. Uh, actually, this will be quicker to get to the control room, actually. <laughs> Go. Here I am, Rick. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> What's the emergency? 
Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. Oh, yes. It flashed by pretty quick, but I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. Alrighty. Let's get on this. What is it? It's a distress signal from one of our team members. It must be Cooper. Yeah, or it might be Tom. He infiltrated this facility, posing as one of the researchers. He did. Can you pinpoint the signal? It's coming from outside of the building. To the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Hmm. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. It could be the dock. What are you talking about? He's asking for our help. We don't leave our own behind. And what if it's a trap? Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I'm willing to take that risk. Remember our mission. We're not here to babysit. That's your way of operating. Not mine. Ooh. Getting a little edgy in here. All right. You have your access to the underground, Gale. So get moving. You handle your things your way, I'll handle my things my way. That punk is really starting to get on my nerves. Regina, I'm heading out to investigate the underground. Okay. I suppose this is the, well. It is the first time for me that in a game you're actually given a choice in what you could do. So these are the two things we have: Gale's idea, search for clues to find Doctor Kirk, or Rick's idea, rescue your comrade immediately. Now, mm, this is not just me being a softy. I am gonna take Rick's idea only because I find it a lot more interesting. The gameplay from this point is a lot more interesting than if you followed Gale into the underground. So I'm going to do this one. Okay, that's where we need to go, outside. Ooh. Music's changed. It's rather ominous now. Right. Um. No, this is probably quicker. This is probably quicker to get back outside. Also, I should mention in this game, Poops, there are a number of ways you can play this game, and it has multiple endings. So, obviously, depending on which which path you take, this isn't the only choice you'll have to make, by the way. There are a number of times where you'll have to choose between Gale's and Rick's approach. Well, obviously, we're taking Rick's approach for this one. Again, as I said, because I find it a lot more interesting and there's a lot more interesting puzzles and interesting moments through this. So, what I'm going to do actually, sod the darts, I am going to get bullets out. Alright, now we might have to do a little bit of dodging and weaving, and I might need a medipack at the end of this. Oh, get around them! They're asleep! Get around them! Quickly! Get around them! That's it. Resuscitation. Hell yes. Come on. Quickly. Yes. Managed to get around them without taking a hit. That's soon to change, however. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. That thing is huge. And it's coming straight for me. Ah. That is supposed to happen, peeps. Don't worry. But this, you need to get yourself out of. Come on. 
Put me down! Put me down! Right now! Thank you. Right. Go and pick that gun up. Whoa! Little dodging and weaving. Equip that thing. Now I will point out, it is pretty pointless. Oh, not enough room. Whoa! It is pretty pointless to try shooting at them. Because you will not hit them. Okay. Or it's very unlikely you'll hit them. Now let's see, the control panel for the big elevator. It's not responding now. So there's obviously no power. Okay. It could become a well, if the power source is activated. So that's what we need to do. Whoa! We also need to take cover. <laughs> Because these things are out to get us! Oh! Tom! It's Tom! They came out of nowhere. Didn't have a chance. Tom, can you tell us what's going on here? Yes, please. Kirk's insane. His experiments have nothing to do with energy development. Tom! Here, take this. Thanks. Oh, don't die yet! His wounds are pretty bad. We have to move him someplace safe immediately. Oh, huh, he's not dead. Oh, thank God for that. What's he giving us? Ah, code disk L. Okay. So, and what's this here? Ah, the input disk L. Huh, <laughs> how convenient. Right, so we have the two L disks. All we now need is the L door. But we're not going to find that just yet. Until... Ooh, a map. Let's get that data... Let's get that data down. Yes, I shall. Okay. So we need to turn the power back on. First. And we need to go this way. Also, I find with this original first choice, with Rick's choice, you also learn a lot more about the actual island and the experiments. And obviously, these experiments will have nothing to do with energy development. Mm. So, it's all very secretive. Right now. Oh, conspicuous shelf. Give it a shift. What's that? Recovery aid. Well, I need to top my health up anyway. So, we'll use... Oh, I've got two of them. Oh, I don't have just one. Oh, balls. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. We'll use that one. Get the recovery aid. We'll mix it with... Yeah, with these. That's it. There we are. Two pluses. That's good. Ooh, and what's this right here? B1 crane card. Ah, that's going to be useful a little bit later. Right, now this is another puzzle. Right here. It's probably the first proper puzzle. Now, obviously we have some coloured switches. And these operate the pipes above to connect the power. So the right order we need to do it in is start from here and go around in a circle. So you want to do the red one first, like so. Yeah. Then you want to press the green button, like so. And then you want to press the blue one. Okay, and as you go around, you start from the top and you repeat the process, so red, green, blue. And they'll connect nice and easy, like this. Here we go. Like so. There we are. All of them are connected.
And we now have power. Excellent. Right. Let's head on back, shall we? Head on out. Ah, what a lovely sound. The sound of power. It's awesome. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. You're not putting me in that. Get off. Get off me. Off with you. Ew. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's so nasty. Ew. 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 Right. Let's not hang around here to gawk at the gore. Let's get through here and get that elevator working. Through here. Let's get that elevator working. Luckily, the Tyrannodons have gone from here. Will you turn on the power? Yes. Right, let's head back to Tom and Rick real quick. Finally, we have access to the elevator outside. We're good. Now we can head straight down to the underground. Indeed. Let's go, man. So you saw the beast, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pteranodon, wasn't it? <laughs> I meant... You saw that it was a real dinosaur. It's unbelievable. Didn't I tell you? This is just like that movie. <laughs> nice crossover there. Nice Jurassic Park crossover there. To be fair, that is a pretty huge elevator. Not gonna lie. Regina, we have to hurry. Tom's not going to last much longer. I'll clear a path by moving these containers. You just keep an eye on Tom. Mm hmm. Indeed, peeps. And we shall do that in the next video. So, see you there, peeps. <laughs>